Once again, it seems the surest way to get an Oscar nomination is in your birthday suit. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Sessions. This therapist suggested I could work with a sex surrogate who would be sensitive to my unusual needs. In my heart, I feel like he'll give you a free pass on this one. Go for it. Hi, Mark O'Brien. Your money's on the desk over there. Yes, it is. That was the wrong way to start off. It really was. Shall we start again? Please. You start. I'm not a prostitute. You don't have to pay me up front. And there's a limit to the number of sessions we can have. The limit is six. Shall we get undressed? Sure. Over the last few years, it has seemed that award season is less and less about acting and more and more about the willingness of actors to go there. For instance, in 2011, three of the five Best Actress nominees had simulated receiving oral sex on screen. And last year, while he didn't get an Oscar nomination, Michael Fassbender was still a major awards contender and got a huge career boost for graphically portraying a sex addict. Apparently, if one wants to be a successful actor today, they have to be willing to literally bear all for audiences. One has to wonder what's worse, the studio system where they abuse talent off screen or today's free agent system where talent is abused on screen. However, then there's a movie like The Sessions, which makes the situation not so black and white. On the one hand, it does feature Helen Hunt and John Hawks fully nude and actually having sex. But on the other hand, that's what the whole movie is about, having sex. Only the twist is that this is the true story of how quadriplegic Mark O'Brien finally lost his virginity in his late 30s by hiring a sex surrogate. Of course, an argument could be made that the Sessions could have chosen to focus on the emotional aspects of the story rather than the physical, but O'Brien himself chose to focus on both when telling his own story when he wrote an article about it back in 1990. Writer-director Ben Lewin, who like O'Brien had polio, only much less severe, chose to honor O'Brien's sentiment with this film. And now suddenly, coming out of nowhere, Focus Features truly has a dark horse contender for this year's awards season. John Hawks, who already has gotten on the Academy's radar with his nomination for Winter's Bone, has tremendous potential for an upset win over favorites like Daniel Day-Lewis, Denzel Washington, Anthony Hopkins, and Joaquin Phoenix. In fact, to help him portray a man with a curved spine, Hawks lay on a soccer-sized piece of foam during shooting for so long that his chiropractor told him his organs had migrated, permanently damaging Hawks' own body. What was that about abusing actors? But hey, if he wins the gold, it'll all be worth it, right? I guess that's what we audience members, the consumers who ultimately fuel all this, need to ask ourselves. Word is that this is going to be an Oscar contender. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was that good? Yes. In fact, I think particularly for the writing and John Hawke's lead performance, I think he's definitely a contender for best actor, if not a win. It was even better than that good. Really? Yes. What's, what's so good about it? Uh, the, the acting. I've seen John Hawke's in Lawless and in Winter's Bone. It's one of the reasons I came to see it. He's a marvelous actor. I've always loved Helen Hunt. Who would you nominate out of this? The, the uh, Macy, Hawks, and um, Helen Hunt, the three, the three major that, stars. That good across the board. Absolutely. And I really particularly liked William H. Macy. It's sort of a more doubtful priest. And yeah, so that I thought was interesting. And you know, their, their chemistry was quite good. What would you say to someone who goes, well, is it just about a guy who loses, manages to lose his virginity? What else would you say it's about? Well, I would say, though, it's about a person. It speaks to the, universi the universality of human experience even among those who do not seem ordinary. This... Oh, I'm, glad, I'm, gl I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to touch you like that. It was a story uh, about human beings, about human wow. feelings, about sexuality, and that it's possible, even no matter how ill you are. I know this movie, it's a little graphic. Yeah. Right? Say, that's kind of understatement. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be good about it. All right. Do you think that will keep people from seeing the movie? Should it keep people from seeing the film? Well, I mean, I guess you could say is, is that sometimes people might look upon it as sort of cheerfully offensive, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, you know, it definitely is a human story. And if you can get past the frank dialogue, as the reviewers or raters put it, then I think you can have a real treat of good writing and acting. You know, movies where it is clear that he's having oral sex, she's having oral sex, those are titillating and those, the, 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 this was a story about human connection and sexuality playing a crucial part of that. Did you ever hear about a sex surrogate before? No. <laughs> what do you uh, think no, I is? have not. I, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. it, it, um, it clearly gets results, right? Yeah, well, it yeah. does. It yeah. does. And my mother was in a nursing home for 18 years. She was very disabled. So I 
I have compassion for that. That's wonderful. And understanding. Did it need to go there, though? Did it need to have that kind of nudity and stuff in it? Or? Well, I always say that, you know, you can always tell a story without, with or without, you know, graphic, you know, nature. But, you know, since they chose it, I think that it is what they chose. And I think it's a really great movie. What do you give the film on a 1 to 10? 12. Definitely an 8, maybe an 8.5. I would say if the other gentleman said a 12. That good, wow. That's yes. fantastic. And I came over from New Jersey to see it in New York. Oh, so. well, that's great. I'm glad you got to see it. Sounds like the Oscar buzz for the sessions is well-deserved, with audiences giving the film a 9.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.